It is a woman's right to choose what happens to their body just as it is a man's right to choose what happens to theirs. Our forefathers and mothers were faith-based people, but they were very insistent that our country be set up as secular in nature. We all have the right to choose when, where, and how we worship, but we do not have the ability to impose our religious views on others. That is what is happening with abortion. A person's belief regarding abortion is based upon religion. The wonderful thing is, most babies are born to a mother who will love them and welcome them into this world, or who has planned for a home that is waiting for them if they're not able to care for them. The government has no right injecting itself into the most personal decision that a minority of mothers will make, and it is also a woman's choice as to whose baby they will give birth to. Most people agree that if an expecting mother has not chosen to have an abortion by the time of viability, which is typically 22 to 24 weeks, then the pregnancy should be carried to term, except in the case of a risk to the mother's life, or if there is a determination that the child will not live after birth, or would do so in a way that there is not a quality of life. Unlike Tom Tiffany, I believe it is a woman's right to choose. On Wisconsin.